What's up, Peep Squad? Peep Squad is in the building, baby. Please like, comment, subscribe, share the video. It'd be greatly appreciated. Let's get down to the situation. Let's talk about Candace Dillard. You know, she ends up in this, you know, book that is out here and it's hitting the streets when it comes to the inside story of the Real Housewives from the people who lived it. Not All Diamonds and Roses by David, baby. And we have Miss Candace Dillard. She has entered into the book. Book and she's telling how she feels and how she feels neglected by the executives and also by Andy Cohen. And she really felt like Andy Cohen owed her a conversation or somebody did because she ended up getting her ass beat on TV or she got humiliated on TV as well. She got dragged, baby. She had to go to court. You know, she hired an attorney. And at the end of the day, who paid for that attorney and all that good stuff that was going on? Candace Dillon had to pay for the situation. And so, therefore, for. She was looking for some help, some support, and she really thought that people should care that she worked for, and they proved to her that they didn't care. They did not give a damn about her situation. They didn't care about the altercation that she had with Monique Samuels. Monique Samuels tried to tell Candace over and over, nobody likes her when it comes from Giselle, when it comes from Robin, when it comes from Karen and Ashley. Darby, none of them like her. And so it's also proven that Andy don't like her. Andy don't respect her. Andy just wants to make money off of, you know, Miss Candace Dillard. And that's what he did. And he didn't have time to have a conversation with her because he was too busy, you know, fanning the fans and fanning the air and making sure he make his dollar and 15 cents off of Candace Dillard and Monique Samuels, you know, altercation out here in these streets. You know, Andy was out here on Watch What Happens Live. He couldn't help to talk about it. He couldn't help it. He was just like all enthralled into the situation because it, it created a viral moment that which created a viral moment for Watch What Happens Live. And we know Watch What Happens Live is about to get pulled, you know. It's about to get finito done. They need to do something with the situation. So therefore, Andy's trying to protect his show and protect his situation and anytime these ladies create a viral moment on the show he basically you know huddles them and grab them and lure them in to be on watch what happens live and give all the tea and then boom bada beam he say see you later <laughs> i'm done with you so in any event candace still has it all confused about where her place is with the network, with the executives, and also with the cast, because she keep thinking people of her friends, and they're not her friends on the show. Only friend that she got on the show is Wendy Osefo. Other than that, baby girl, nobody on that show likes you, and it's evident. And then also this season, with Candace Diller coming at Mia Thornton and her husband calling her a whore, saying that she's a street walker, she's a giant green giant. You know what I mean? She got picked up on side of the corner, on side of the curb you know all types of situation telling g come and get your whore like all types of stuff and also saying that mia mother is low budget with mia's mother's you know background and her history and also the abuse that mia suffered as a young child and then a younger adult and people are like oh my god they're looking at candace like she has no filter she has no emotion and she don't care about nobody but herself and she's not empathetic at all and it made people realize you know what she deserved that ass whooping from Monique it wasn't an ass whooping ass whooping but whatever Monique did whatever type of dragon wig pool whatever the case may be everybody just about everybody feels like Candace Dillard deserved that now seeing her on the new season of Real Housewives of Potomac and she is out of pocket out of line and also she keeps sticking her hand in people's faces Mia for example all up in her face were her hands and that's the same way her and Monique Samuels end up in that altercation so it makes you think like Candace if you were so distraught you had to go get counseling you had to leave sticky notes on the wall to remind you that you are loved you're protected and you're safe why would you use your fingers to argue and get into people's faces if that's the actual moment that happened last year that really hurt you and discouraged you and made you have PTSD why would you in turn continue to show that behavior on the show? So, you know, she's not catching a lot of bees, baby. Because she's carrying that vinegar around and haunty. 
bees like horny baby so in any event you guys let me know what you think about this situation but when it comes to candace dillard she is calling out andy cohen basically saying that she felt so unsupported by the bravo execs after her physical altercation with former co-star monique samuels and she felt like damn like you know i'm somebody won't you guys come in you know check up on me she felt like she was attacked doing season five episode of the series and she was been feuding with monique samuels for a while and she basically wanted the execs to reach out to her and she tried to reach out to them and they was not trying to hear it at all candace revealed that Andy Cohen failed to reach out to her following her altercation with Monique Samuels, resulting <clears throat> she accused him of not caring about the women's well-being. Lord have mercy. Like, are you accusing him? Didn't all the other ladies came out before to tell you that this is no good? Like, didn't you watch Real Housewives? any franchise and you can tell when it comes to the women that look like you foundational black black women you know he don't stick his neck out like that like he used to because Andy done already garnished all the fame and support that he needed to make himself a brand when it comes to the franchise so therefore he don't need to act like he care or he's concerned anymore unless it benefits him and your situation didn't benefit him it just gave him a viral moment that he can talk about on his show watch what happens live so he can keep people watching and tuning in because it seems like watch what happens live is almost about to be watch nothing at all baby they're about to pull a plug on the situation so in any event candace she continues i even reached out to angie's assistant and asked for him to call me nothing that's effed up i know he has well over a hundred housewives all texting and calling him all the time but how many of them were physically attacked on camera by their co-star the fact that he couldn't even schedule 10 minutes to reach out to me is a problem you don't give a f you are making money off of our back and feeding your son with it and you just don't give a f about us and you cannot tell me that you do and when i saw him i did say it to his face go ahead candace go ahead candace candace said that she said it to him in his face this is what it's in the book, baby. So, Candace, I appreciate that you ran up on Andy and you basically told him how you felt. I know she didn't cuss him out. I know she didn't threaten him. I know she didn't do all that other stuff because he's the man that pays her bills and keep her and her husband on solid ground. But in any event, I do appreciate that Candace confronted Andy and told her how she, she felt, even though he didn't give a damn. He didn't give two, two cents about how she felt but in any event it's in the book the inside story of the real housewives from the people who lived at not all diamonds and roses by days baby so it's in the book so go ahead candace i appreciate that you did that i appreciate that you stood up for yourself i appreciate that you said what you needed to say point blank period and you let andy know that it's messed up what you did like you saw me get attacked you saw me you know get get embarrassed my wig pulled and all that other stuff and people making fun of me me going to the hospital me having a court case and i reached out to you andy to have a conversation i don't know what you thought andy was gonna do andy was just gonna try to get his money point blank period he was trying to get himself you know solidified and make sure there was no e legal actions that you could have brought against him you know candace in any event andy's andy didn't give a damn but i'm glad that you took the time to confront him and basically he you know he just brushed it off his shoulder and threw it away and that's how andy does and it's like damn girl you've been on this show for a while it's like i don't understand why people get on reality tv shows and they don't watch all the seasons and they don't investigate the people that they're working with and actually see what kind of people they really are because all you got to do is watch all you got to do is sit back and watch 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 <laughs> and you can watch what happens live if you want <laughs> but in any event you know candace was really really upset and she was mad and candace later apologized for fussing at andy in the book yesterday she uploaded a photo based so candace apologized to andy 
and basically, you know, for, you know, running up on him, and she feels bad about the situation. I guess she's regretting it, because now it's coming to light, but she put it in the book. So, she apologized to Andy, so I guess it's all good, but we know Andy holds grudges, and he will get back at you. So, just be prepared for that, Candace. 